Hey you guys, I am back here with another haul from Rainbow Melt's last opening on Valentine's Day where she did a sale and everything was 14% off. So, um, I, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to film this haul, so I do want to chat here for a couple minutes. I'll have a timestamp on here for anybody that doesn't want to listen to this and just wants to go see the haul. But one thing I was thinking about, number one, was uh, as a question to you guys, do you guys as a general rule, want to see every single haul that I do. I know a lot of the other YouTubers, they won't film every single haul, maybe just ones that are, you know, like really anticipated or from vendors they've never ordered from before. So do you guys still want to continue seeing every haul? Would you rather have me try to pick and choose, you know, the videos that I do? Is it starting to get too much that I'm, you know, posting haul videos quite often? Things like that. So just let me know. Um, Because I know for me, I love watching haul videos. And it's not like, and I'm assuming that you guys all do it too, it's not like we're always, always sitting down in front of YouTube and like staring at the video. I watch YouTube videos all the time, like when I'm in the shower, I have a YouTube video going, when I'm going to bed, when I'm cleaning, you know, like my bathroom, I'll have one on. So I enjoy like, you know, I will sit down and watch them, I will have them on in the background and when I hear something interesting, I'll kind of like stop and look. I think a lot of us do that. So if you guys, you know, if you got well, like me putting up these videos, because maybe you're one of the kinds that just like to put them on maybe in the background or you know you you like hearing me ramble you know or anything like that okay I can still doing it so that's my question to you would you rather have me try to cut down on the haul videos or do you still want to continue seeing me video every haul um the second question that I have here is well, it's not really a question this is just more thoughts thoughts for me so I know that I'm like a huge wax hog um I'm pretty fast on my computer it's a desktop when I need to like hit up an opening um, so whenever there's like a flash sale going that I really want to participate in or an opening like rainbow melts for the most part I am pretty fast and I can get in there and get out um, So you know, there's a lot of people joining the wax community and after every opening There's always people that are you know saying hey, I you know I wasn't able to get anything this time Maybe I'll be lucky on the next round and it always makes me feel bad because um, I have more than my share of wax so I just want to let you guys know, here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm hoping that this is going to be my last Rainbow Mouse haul for quite some time. Like, maybe up even until the fall. Um, it's just, I, I really don't need to buy any more wax. I really just need to stop and just start melting through what I have. Now, I do have a lot of orders coming in this next week. I have, like, the Sensei Flash Sale, the Mariposa Candle Company, I made an order. I made a rather large order with Vintage Seek Sense on their last reopening. I still have more Rose, Rose Girls coming in um, and things like that. Now, I do want to hit up, like, Lasting Scent Candles if I can when they open. It, when they open um, and and I, I, things like that. But here's what I'm... So, I'm rambling. But this is really what I want to do. For the companies that it's hard to get in there and to get their wax, I am really going to try to stop or definitely decrease the amount that I order from them. For Rainbow Melts, I'm going to try to go on a Rainbow Melts ban until the fall. Um, no matter what kind of yummy blends Crystal puts up, I'm going to really try to hold out and melt through what I have. Uh, I ordered from Daphne's Divine last time. I'm going to try to hold out as well so everyone else can try her yummy wax. I'm going to try my best to sit out of the next Rose Girls opening. Not that I would necessarily get an order in anyway, but um, even if I could, I'm going to try my best to sit that one out. I sat out the last candles from the keeping room. I am going to try to continue sitting out from candles from the keeping room. For the, okay, here's for the most part, I am going to try my best to stop ordering wax from vendors that have like high stress, high demand openings. Um, if I do feel the need to order wax, I'm going to try to place it from companies where, you know, like the ones that are more open all the time, Front Porch, Ava's Country Covered, the ones that I feel like I can buy wax guilt free and that I'm not like stealing wax from somebody else. I'm going to try to not hit up um, Super Tarts. I'm not going to sign up for any of the pans. I already have a lot of them. I'm not going to, I'm going to try my best to not hit up that opening. I'm kind of looking around here trying to assess what it is. So, you know, this weekend I've had a lot of time to myself. My husband's been working most of the weekend. I've been sitting around, I'm looking at all the wax, and it's beginning to really tire me out. Like, there's just so much of it. It's constant work, changing out the warmers. Um, organizing it, uh, you know, stashing it and reorganizing it. I know I'm bitching about stupid things, you guys. Oh, organizing wax. My life is terrible. It's not, but it's just, it's a hobby that's just really overtaking, I think, way too much. So at this point, I really just need to stop or I can't, I'm never going to be able to stop buying, but I really need to minimize the buying. I need to give everybody else a chance to get in there and get those hard to, hard to get vendors. Um, and I'm really going to try. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be able to. Like if something super yummy comes up on candles from the keeping room, you know, I may have to go in there and snag one or two bags or five or six bags. 
let's be honest here, but I am aware that I have more of my share of wax and there's plenty of people out there who I would rather get all of this yummy wax over me um, from now on. So I'm going to do my best, do my best to minimize the buying and only buy from vendors that are easy to get wax from and readily available. All right, you guys, I'm really sorry. This is five minutes of me rambling. I didn't know whether I should have filmed a separate video or, um, you know, filmed it in this video. I decided to just do it in this Rainbow Melts one because I am probably the biggest Rainbow Melts hog out there, or one of the biggest Rainbow Melts hog. I think I've only ever missed one of Crystal's openings since I started opening from ordering from Rainbow Melts. And this last opening, there were a ton of people that, you know, missed out. So, you know, this is it. I'm done. I'm done. But I really did want to film this video and show you some of these yummy, summery, um, fruity blends that Crystal came up with that I think smell really awesome and hopefully she has for the next restock. So, I am so sorry about this if this intro pissed you off. If it did, hopefully you either skipped ahead or, you know, it's, it is what it is. So, I got the same... Um, you know, bag here from Crystal that always has, I already ate the other piece of candy. It came with two pieces of candy, and it also came with two samples. This one, I've actually have not seen from her before, was just a sample in Bakery Shop. It kind of just smells like a really nice, like, sugared pie crust kind of scent, maybe with, like, a little bit of caramel or maple or something, but that's, that's quite nice. Um, I'm not detecting any spice in there, like, I don't think I smell cinnamon or anything like that, but... I, I quite like that one. Resist. I'm done. Resist. I'm not gonna, I'm not buying that at <laughs> the next opening. No matter how good bakery shop is, this is all I get. I'm done. I'm done. Um, another one here is Ice Lemon Cookies, and I've smelled this one before. It's just a really good, strong, lemon, very sweet cookie uh, bakery fragrance, so that one is really, really cute right there. It looks like a, like a really nice mode. looks like a cookie. Okay, now the next one here are these piped hearts, and there's multiple vendors that carry these uh, piped hearts, and mine got a little bit smushed in shipping, but it's not the hugest deal. This one here is in Mango Sorbet. Maybe I should have pushed this back so the camera isn't as confused. Yeah, so mango sorbet, so that's what it looks like. That is a super fresh drinking some kind of mango smoothie on the beach kind of smell. Not that it smells like a beach, but this is what it reminds me of. Just fresh and clean and just, I don't know, fruity awesomeness. So that one is really, really nice. This next one here is berry verbena. And I've suddenly realized I don't really know what verbena is, so... um this just has like a really good just overall berry scent. I can't, I cannot detect like a single type of berry. It's not like it's super strong on a blueberry or a strawberry. It's very well blended, all sorts of different types of berries. Really nice. Um, definitely enjoy that one as well. So those are the only two piped hearts that I got. Some of the other ones I got, I got two scallops here in a citrus explosion. And especially going into spring here soon, I think we're all into our, um, you know, fruity scents. This one is really nice. On cold throw, I can't smell it um, a whole heck of a lot. But it kind of just has like, I don't know, not a super strong orange, but definitely like an orange, um, maybe lemony kind of smell. So that one is definitely really good. I enjoy that one for sure. Next one here is Zucchini Birthday Noel. And I got this because I was assuming birthday was birthday cake. And I really love sweet zucchini scents. Yeah, this is a very sweet zucchini scent. This is just gorgeous. Mmm, so, so delicious. Not buying any more at the next opening. Done, done. All right, um, I got a chunky heart here, and man, this thing is chunky. Look at that thing. It's heavy. I should have weighed this. I mean, I am a very generous melter, but even I would have to cut this in half. And there's, like, the chunks go all the way through. This one here is in Blue Raspberry, Jolly Rancher, Pomegranate, and Lemonade. That lemonade is really strong and very authentic smelling. It smells like a fresh glass of icy lemonade. I can smell the pomegranate because it's got that slight tart pomegranate fruit smell. And I think I can pick up like the Jolly Rancher kind of smell, like a sweet candy, a sugary smells in there as well. This is a great blend. It is, I would highly recommend that. And I really hope Crystal stocks it at the next opening. So for those that missed out, you can grab it at the next one. That one's delicious. All right, this next one here is Berry Buttercream Puffs, Pink Buttercream, and Berry Creme Brulee, Creme Creme Brulee. This one is really nice. Um, so I'm, as, I'm assuming that Pink Buttercream is Pink Sugar and Buttercream. I, I don't, I think I can detect the faintest hint of Pink Sugar in here, but I might be talking out of my butt. 
I think I can also detect like the creme brulee scent, which to me always just has like a caramel type of smell. This is a really nice one, and one thing I really like about it is that it does not smell artificial on cold. Because sometimes like with scents like this, it kind of overall can have like an artificial smell. This doesn't. On cold, that one just smells really amazing. All right. I got two bundt cakes here in caramel orange danish. I love these bundt cakes. It's a perfect size for one melt and they're always just so sleek and um, shiny. Mmm, really good. That caramel is very strong. But that orange is not shy either. This one is a really good like caramel butterscotchy orange bakery scent. Um, just nice and warm. Just gorgeous. This next one is the grapefruit vanilla twist. That one is nice. It's not a super tart, super strong grapefruit. It's definitely a subdued, creamy grapefruit. Oh, that is gorgeous. Really, really good. Sorry, did I knock the camera? Okay, there we go. Um, this next one is Blackberry Fizz. That's definitely fizzy, so I don't know if there's like a fizzy pop note in this, if it's... I, I think I could detect like a lemon-lime sort of uh, soda fragrance, but I could be talking out of my butt again. This is gorgeous. It's um, fruity and fizzy, effervescent, bright and cheery. Really nice. This next one here is Hot Pink Lime and Satsuma. I always love the Satsuma fragrance and I know Satsuma has like some green notes and I think some floral but that it's always just a very strong citrus fragrance. And the hot pink on the top is a little bit more subtle on cold. So when I smell it all together it's mostly Satsuma dominant in that one but it's very bright and cheery. This is a pomegranate watermelon. Oh, just gorgeous. That's a really good 50-50 blend of pomegranate and watermelon. I feel like this one is not too strong either way. It's just a very equal blend. Mmm, that one is gorgeous. Okay, I also got my very first scent shot ever from Rainbow Melts and Watermelon Cake. And I know what, at one point Crystal um, was going to stop doing these because I think she said it was very difficult to pour them, you know, because you can't spill or you know get any on the edges or anything but she had some up so it kind of surprised me this is a very strong you know i've had watermelon cake scents before from various vendors and it was th all the other ones have always been stronger on the watermelon i feel like this one is stronger on the cake because when i smell this in the cup oh crap ah oh ah, my god <laughs> sorry i uh, breathed up or i breathed on it and some of the glitter flew up and got in my eye <laughs> Oh, ow! I'm getting attacked by sun shots. That burned. Oh, the glitter. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna put this one up against my nose anymore. Um, but I, I, when I put my nose close to it, it was mostly birthday cake. <laughs> okay. Oh, my eyes. There's like, can you see? There's like little bits of glitter still on my fingers. Man, that glitter just went right up in my face. <laughs> That's great. Um, green apple explosion and uh, Teddy tarts. Now this one, I'm not a big fan of the fragrance. On a whole, it smells artificial to me. Yeah, I'm not really digging this a whole lot. It doesn't really smell like an authentic apple scent, but I'll have to melt it and see what it smells like. All right, this is probably one of my favorites in here, Cucumber Mint. Oh man, this one is so good. It's a perfect, sorry, the dishwasher's going again. It's a perfect bedroom scent. God, the mint is there, but it's a 50-50 Cucumber Mint smell. I mean, it's not too strong on either one. It's like, it's just clean and fresh and just perfect and yeah definitely not overly mint dominant for those of you that don't like mint that much next one is blackberry jam and lemon curd okay you guys know or may or may not know that i've been on this blackberry jam thing about it has this funky undertone so i figured i would give it one more try from rainbow melts to see what i thought and it has that undertone again now it's not super strong in this one and mixed with the lemon curd which is very uh, tar tangy and tart it's it's not bad I can smell the undertone, but this one I would actually melt and uh, experiment with and see what I think. But yeah, Blackberry Jam now from like four different vendors has all smelled the same to me. Uh, peach Smoothie. Gorgeous, gorgeous peach scent. I really like this peach. And with the smoothie part, it's a little bit more subdued, but this smells more like an authentic peach smell to me. More of a creamy, authentic peach rather than an artificial peach. So I really enjoy that one. All right, this next one here is Lemon Sugar Blueberry. Mmm, so good. I, I love Rainbow Melts Blueberry. That's not a secret at all. And uh, just mixed with that lemon sugar, just crystally, sh uh, lemony, sugary, blueberry sweet. This one is just really gorgeous. 
All right, you guys, so that's it. So besides getting attacked by the scent shot <laughs> and the glitter, um, this is a pretty good haul. Like I said, I hope you guys can hear it in my voice when I say that I am really going to try to minimize my buying of wax and um, try to get out of those high stress openings so everyone else can have a shot. I'm going to try my best. Let me know um, also if you still want me to film every haul or if you want me to try to cut down on the hauls if they're just getting to be too much. And uh, I'm always trying to think and branch out for other wax videos, but it's kind of hard. I mean, you can do warm reviews and hauls, and then after that, you kind of like start running out of ideas, right? So, you know, I'm thinking about it, but either way, that's really what I'm gonna do. And actually, also with summer coming, it's probably not the best time to buy wax anyway. Um, so, ooh, so maybe that'll be good. So maybe right now I'm stocked, and I'll have to make it all the way through the fall with what I've got for the most part, but I, I'm still gonna buy. Don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna buy, but I'm really gonna try to watch what I buy. I'm really sorry you guys have been rambling through this whole haul, so some of you may give this video a thumbs down, and if you do, you do. I'm a real person, and I feel like I like talking to you guys through these videos um, and getting your feedback. So, hey, if you don't like this video, sure, give it a thumbs down. Um, you know, it may hurt my feelings, may not, depending on what mood I'm in. I'm gonna cry! <laughs> oh, thumbs downs! Okay, I'm gonna try my best to have it not bother me. But I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!